and it'd be no surprise to notice that Tommy Sugru is one of the fittest referees in the country and he'll be certainly up with the play. The game is on then. This long anticipated game between two of the major counties in Ulster over the past three years. The All-Ireland Champions of 1991 are taking on Derry who lay on their line today their titles of Ulster and All-Ireland Champions. Carl Diamond, the man who came in then for Johnny McGurk, is the first one to take this free kick. Ross Carr has pulled in the back and the huge open spaces of Celtic Park certainly invite open play, certainly invite the ball in front as that one to Aidan Farrell shows and down are going to be first to attack here through Conor Deegan. Conor Deegan finds Linden, Linden sells a dummy, fists it and fists it to the right and wide and the crowd knew an ah but it's lucky for Down that that ball didn't go into the net as a fisted goal doesn't count anymore Peter. Yes but that was a, a move that Down would hope to repeat, Aidan Farrell coming out Space in behind and the ball thrown into the flyer and Linden inside. And the Gormley, noticeable this year, as the Nanda is not wearing his customary knee bandage. He's been operated on over the, the winter and he was telling me before the game that he's never felt better. The first kick from Derry then goes to Brian McCormick. Looking for a break, McCartan has got the break, the shot and the block. That's Good forward play and excellent defensive work. The switch, the left footed kick, the down number eight, Gregory McCurtain then gets his side, second point. Colleague Eamon Burns. Derry switching the play a lot. Tohal on the rampage. Here comes Tohal. Oh, what a brilliant shot and a nickel magnificent save by Nate Collins. That had gold written all over it, but with an injury to a down defender. The power and the strength of Anthony Tohill shown there brilliantly. But what a miraculous save by Neil Collins. Coming in, shrugging off the challenge. Collins never took his eye off it. Eamon Coleman shouting at him to change it to the short free. Joe Brawley now, faced by John Kelly. Joe throws it, fires it over the left. And if that goes over the crowd, will erupt. It goes over. Brawley remains aloof but the Derry flags wave. A brilliant individual score by that man, Brawley. Max Tuchel. Down that avenue again he goes. No one there. Trying to screw it in. Off the post it came. Still Tuchel. Such the strength of Tuchel. Even on the ground, still has the present of mind. He got a clash in the head. They give it to Brawley. And Brawley puts it brilliantly over the bar. Joe Brawley. He did it in Chaseman Park. And now he's doing it in Celtic Park. And in the middle it goes. There's a breaking ball in the middle of the field. Even the big men are getting them, and that's where this game is going to hinge. Four down jerseys got between Brian McGilligan. They're trying to get that ball away. The broken ball in. Hidden foul. A left and a strike by foul. And over the bar it goes. And now it's Barry Breen. Up it goes well. Broken down by James McCartan. Now it's Hidden foul. Shrugged off Anthony Toll, and there's very few can claim to have done that. Linden turns with the right foot and kicks it over the bar. That's a great score for Down and a brilliant effort by Mickey Linden. Greg Blaney, quick transfer to McCartan. McCartan finds Linden, not for the first time. Linden on the left foot. Linden with the point. Brilliant score by Down and another brilliant one from Mickey Linden. Now, who's first to react? Tony Scullion was straight off the ground. And this is a sign of the down play that they want to take these frees very quick. Tommy Stuger recognised that fact. The ball has moved up. Who's the target man? Linden again. Linden puts down in the lead for this fourth point. In the... McCusker. Now it's Dye's turn to throw in the high ball. Brian McCormick's the target. Cormick's got it. Invaded that tackle from Higgins. And now it's Joe Brawley. Linden on one team, Brawley on the other, but here's the other part of the puzzle, Enda Gormley. Darren McNichol thrown out to him, forced across field. That's great work yet again by this down defence. Standing up to the man and eventually blocking him. And what a forward can do, so can the defender. McNichol got away with it. Dermot Heaney, still Dermot Heaney, Tohill, trying to force his way through. Swings acrobatically, flicks it off the top of the right foot. 
sustained pressure by Derry, rewarded in a point by Anthony Tuchel. Craig Glaney, McNichol did well, and Fergal McCusker had the sensible approach, tried to find Gormley, Michal McGill's there, and now it's Ross Carr. A lot of space, and there's a mistake by Carr Diamond, lucky for him, McCusker's there. Dermot McCusker finds his brother Fergal. There goes the target man. Down need to catch that ball. Gormley got it. And a bit of Michal McGill, a man's in the overlap. It's Eamon Burns if he sees him. There's Eamon Burns. There's the opportunity. Switches the left. Kicks it over. And Eamon Burns from Bannerstein brings him level after six minutes in the second half. And up go the Derry flags. Carl Diamond pursued by that man McCartney again. And fouled. James McCartney's stamina has certainly been put to the test and he hasn't been found wanting to date. The breaking ball then, Heaney off balance but still manages to put it over the bar. Mickey Linden benefiting from that free. A lovely strike by Linden and it just proves here the keeper marked him brilliantly for 13 minutes. He let him go for five seconds and Linden put it over the bar. Gregory McCartan from the Bally Martin Club, the same club as Paul Higgins. He's 44 metres out. A lovely relaxed style, a high dropping ball. Amazingly, the umpire signals a point. That's Chasty, the first man to react. Chasty first into the game. If you don't get a clean pass in, you certainly don't get a second opportunity. Eamon Burns, a nice easy ball. Playing into the path of Brawley. On the overlap is the half back. Fergal McCusker trying to get through. The left foot takes into the net. It's in the net by McCusker. Fergal P. McCusker from Glen. He came up field. Nobody picked him up. And he's rattled the net for the first time in this game. It all started here with Joe Brawley. Brawley fed it in. McCusker. There was the angle. There was no angle. The way was closed down. He still got away. In came Barry Breen. The block in the net. And away comes Damien Casty. The Balahi man. A fresh pair of peels here. Facing Barry Breen, held up well by Breen, looking for support, forced to throw it outfield, and that's Joe Brawley, believe it or not. The right corner forward is the left half forward position. Derry at the moment are playing possession, and Carl Diamond kicks it all away. It's at least 50 50. DJ Kane, he bends over it, bends down to pick it up, maintains possession, drives it downfield. A great ball from the down captain, Gregory McCartan. Left footed. Gives it to James McCartan. James holding on to Carl Diamond, getting away from Carl Diamond. And now Kane McKeever takes over the tackling exploits. Still James McCartan, a perfect example of balance. If this ball goes over the bar, Celtic Park will erupt. It does. A magnificent individual score of persistence by James McCartan. That score had everything. So here it is again. This man McCartan, the thing that's been said about him is the fact that he's got such a low centre of gravity. But uh, as well as that there, it's the way he protects the ball. Here he sheeds it from. Kieran McKeever gets the kick in. That's a pure kick out. Craig Laney gets it. Hounded by Diamond. That's a good ball. Linden the target man. The chance, the shot. It's in the net. It's brilliantly finished by Aidan Farrell. The substitute it is. Peter Whistle is it. Here in McKeever, the man. Brilliantly flicked into him by Whitnell. And what a finish from close range, just underneath the, underneath the crossbar. No chance. But a brilliant transfer to the man at speed. Defenders had no chance. Great strike by McCartney against the breeze. It's over. It's over. Days, Ulster, and all Ireland titles have gone. The Ulster hoodoo lives on. And Celtic Park is a happy hunting ground as far as the Down fans are concerned. Pete McGrath being hugged by Jubilant Down supporters. And you've got a hand of the Down, Peter. They refused to let themselves be put down when Fergal McCusker put that ball in the net. DJ Kane and Greg Linney are probably the happiest.